Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Emily Waffles, 92. Thanks for the suggestion, Emily. You ask, why does static electricity make our hair stand up? If you've ever pulled off a sweater and looked in the mirror, only to find your hair doing its best impersonation of a frightened porcupine, you're not alone. Static electricity can make us look like we've been struck by lightning without any of the cool superpowers. So today, we're diving into what's actually going on when your hair suddenly decides to rebel and float skyward. From electrons to frizz, we're breaking down the hilarious and slightly shocking science behind it, right here on Explaining Everything. To understand what's happening to your hair, we need to talk about one of the sneakiest forces in nature, static electricity. Now, don't worry, this isn't going to be a physics lecture with a chalkboard and equations. It's just some fun science about rogue electrons ruining your hairstyle. Everything around you, including you, is made of atoms. These atoms are like tiny solar systems, with a nucleus in the middle and electrons spinning around the outside. Electrons are the negatively charged ones, and they have a tendency to wander when things get rubby. When two materials come into contact and rub together, say, your hair and a wool sweater, electrons can jump ship from one material to another. This electron swap leaves one object with extra negative charge and the other with a shortage. That imbalance is what we call static electricity. It's called static because the charge just sort of sits there until it finds something or someone to jump to. Like your hand or your cat or your extremely unsuspecting forehead. So, what does this have to do with your hair standing up like it's possessed? Once your hair gains a static charge, something very specific happens. Each strand picks up extra electrons, becoming negatively charged. And what do negative charges do when they get near each other? They freak out. Well, scientifically speaking, they repel. They push away from each other as forcefully as possible, like they're all trying to avoid an awkward group text. Since every hair is now charged the same way, each strand tries to get away from its neighbors. The only direction left to go, up. That's why your hair lifts off your head like it's trying to escape gravity or bad hair product choices. You may have noticed that this static hair phenomenon is a lot more common during the colder months. That's not your imagination. And it's not just winter being rude. In winter, the air gets dry. And dry air is terrible at conducting electricity. That means any static charge that builds up has nowhere to go. It just hangs around, waiting to zap you or your hair. In humid weather, water molecules in the air help disperse those charges more quickly. So in summer, your hair is less likely to pull the standing ovation routine. But in the dry air of winter, static builds up like it's hoarding negative vibes. Which, let's be honest, is kind of its thing. So, what can you do? to calm the chaos. The key is moisture and conductivity. Adding humidity to the air through a humidifier, for example, helps reduce static buildup. Water is a great conductor, so it lets those charges sneak away before they cause trouble. 
using conditioner or hair oil also helps. Hair that's moisturized is less likely to hold a charge. Dry hair, on the other hand, is basically a lightning rod for drama. And believe it or not, rubbing a dryer sheet on your hair can work in a pinch. It might look ridiculous, sure, but desperate times call for weird hacks. You can also carry a metal object, like a key or coin, and touch it to something grounded before you touch anything else. That helps discharge any built-up static before it makes your hair, or your entire body, a victim of surprise electricity. You might wonder, why doesn't the rest of our body freak out the same way? Why don't our eyebrows rise up in protest? Why don't our leg hairs launch a full-scale rebellion? The answer is pretty simple. Your head hair is longer, lighter, and more exposed. Long strands have more surface area for charges to build up. They're also more flexible, so it's easier for them to lift and separate dramatically. Your arm hair, meanwhile, is like, eh, I'm good. It's shorter, it's closer to the skin, and it's just not built for theatrical outbursts. So, why does static electricity make our hair stand up? Because your hair is full of identical little drama queens, each with the same negative charge, trying desperately to get away from one another. Add some dry air, a wool sweater, and a betrayal hat to the mix, and boom, you've got a full-scale electro-frizz explosion. It all comes down to charged particles, repelling forces, and some very offended hair strands. And the next time you look in the mirror and wonder if you're turning into a dandelion, just remember, that's science, baby. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe keep a dryer sheet in your pocket, just in case. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.